Are you happy with your Galaxy S4 but wish you could get just a little bit more out of it? I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and these are a few apps to help enhance your experience with the Samsung Galaxy S4. The Samsung Galaxy S4 is finally available and we've reviewed it twice, looking at it from every possible angle. The verdict was very much the same both times. It's a fantastic phone with very few compromises. However, the software, while boasting many unique and useful features, is also one of the few aspects of the S4 that can actually negatively affect the performance and user-friendliness of the phone. And while it may seem Samsung left no stone unturned, the company did leave out some much-needed functionality. Thanks to a few applications and services, you can greatly enhance your experience with the S4 in no time. One of the features Samsung introduced last year with the Galaxy S3 is S-Voice. It was meant to rival Apple's voice controlled assistant Siri and Google's own automated digital assistant service Google Now. But the initial take on S-Voice was that it really wasn't much of a match for either. No less, the service remains, and believe it or not, it negatively affects the responsiveness of the software. It's turned on by default and accessed by double pressing the home button. This means when you press the home button once, the system doesn't immediately jump back home. It pauses and waits to make sure you're not trying to double press the button. If you never use S-Voice, it's wise to disable it. This is done by opening S-Voice, pressing Menu, selecting Settings, and unchecking Open via the Home key. This eliminates the hesitation after a home key press. But there's no reason a double press of the physical home button should not still be useful. By downloading an application called Home2, you can set Google Search, or any application of your choosing, to open with a home key double press. Download the free application and open it. Set the desired application as a start application in step 1. In step 2, choose the double press interval. And for step 3, choose the actual launcher you intend to use. Press the home key, set Home2 as the default launcher, and you're all set. So far it has worked flawlessly for us, and we're loving the hardware integration with Google now. The Galaxy S4 comes with Dropbox Sync enabled out of the box. But how can you make the most of Dropbox, a seemingly basic cloud storage service? We use Dropbox day in and day out, and primarily we use it to transfer pictures and other files between multiple devices, or even multiple Dropbox users. One of the most important functions of the camera backup, though, is the ability to almost instantly access pictures taken from another device without ever having to lift a finger. Enable camera upload in Dropbox settings, set it to upload over Wi-Fi only or also over cellular data, and take a couple pictures. If you have a tablet, another phone, or a laptop nearby, those pictures will be available in no time from the other devices. This doesn't take rocket science to figure out, but it's an irreplaceable feature of Dropbox on virtually any mobile device. Samsung is renowned for always fitting its mobile devices with notification LEDs. This time around, Sammy added some control over said LEDs in the Settings app, but the options for what the user can do with the notification lights are paltry compared to some third-party applications, such as Lightflow. Priced at $249, Lightflow may seem a bit pricey for nothing more than adjusting the color or frequency of the notification light, but it's definitely a neat tool that can greatly expand the usefulness of the blinking LED. For example, out of the box, the colors are limited and preset, meaning you have to learn through trial and error what each color means. With Lightflow, you can set each different notification to a separate color so that you know what type of notifications you have missed without ever turning on the display. This one takes a bit of setting up, as the settings are seemingly endless, but once you get it just right, it's extremely gratifying. A feature of the stock touch with keyboard that gained some attention after the announcement was Samsung's choice to use the Swift Key Flow technology. Sounds great, right? Trust us when we say that the touch with keyboard is nothing like Swift Key. Even after learning from Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, and other sources, the prediction software simply does not work as well as SwiftKey's native predictions. The keyboard on the S4 is arguably one of the most frustrating soft keyboard experiences in recent memory. We suggest either picking up the original SwiftKey keyboard from Play for $399, or giving the latest non-beta swipe a chance for only $0.99. Cents. We've taken a keen liking to both over the last few months. With Android 4.2 on board, the Galaxy S4 comes with a lock screen widget functionality. This is probably the most stock-like feature in the latest version of TouchWiz. The only difference is Samsung included shortcuts to five of your favorite applications at the bottom of the lock screen. We're not complaining. But the standard set of lock screen widgets are pretty useless and drab. If you're looking for a plain and simple lock screen widget that packs a ton of information, such as missed calls, IMs, text messages, weather information, battery info, calendar appointments, and lots more on your lock screen in a single widget, we definitely recommend downloading Dashclog. It's free and made by one of Google's own. Best of all, many applications come with Dashclog extensions built in, and dozens of other extensions are available in the Play Store. Lastly, if you're already growing tired of the cumbersome home screen and app drawer experience offered by TouchWiz, you might want to try downloading a launcher replacement application. 
Nova Launcher offers a strikingly stock-like experience for free, though if you want extended functionality you may consider paying $4 for the Prime version. A holoistic launcher we've grown very fond of lately is Action Launcher Pro. The developer has taken a new approach on the Android home screen with shutters, or widgets that are accessed by an upwards gesture with your finger over the app, and covers which are folders disguised as a single app icon. The application drawer couldn't be any more simple either, as it's an alphabetical list of all apps on the device that is opened by pulling the leftmost home screen to the right. That's going to do it for this video, so if you enjoyed it and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Find us in all the usual places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at PocketNow. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech. I'm Taylor Martin, and I'll see you next time.